Hello, this is Wampire. Uh, last week, I was asked about my diet. So uh, th in this video, I'd like to tackle that. Please keep in mind that I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian or, or anything professional like that. Uh, whatever strategy or methodology I use, it, it's because of the martial arts, you know, um, because I try to stay active in my own way and it's to supplement that. So uh, that's where the need comes in. A lot of times when you do have an activity that you're involved with, it does encourage you to, to eat better and eat smarter, like eat at the right times and stuff, because obviously after your activity, you're going to be hungry. So now the eating is more based on, based around your activity. You, you know what I mean? And before you go into an activity, uh, you're not going to want to eat a whole lot because you know, it's going to make you want to throw up or whatever. You don't want to go in and, and work out or exercise on a full stomach. So things become more revolved around whether it's sports or just going to the gym or you're taking a martial arts class. So that's a good thing. Uh, B is please keep in mind um, that when you do start doing an exercise, even if it's just watching a YouTube video and exercising from there, okay, um, if you haven't been doing anything before now, because you're, you're burning calories now, you're going to get hungry and your instinct is to want to eat because whatever weight and physical condition that it is that you are right now and you, in your brain, you're going, you know what? I could lose a couple of pounds or I could gain some muscle or, or whatever it is that you're thinking, right? Your, your body doesn't think that way. You're, according to your body, the way you are right now is normal. Everything's cool. So your body is trying to sustain that in a sense. So if you start exercising, it's going to go, oh man, where did this come from? Now we need to eat. Okay, so that, that's the natural reaction. And you're going to have to combat that. You're going to have to outsmart your body in that sense. Um, so you have to fight those instincts. Okay. So last but not least, um, it's not so much that I have a super strict plan and my regimen is, is like very iron and, and it's like, don't have ice cream, uh, don't have soda, don't do this, don't do that. Don't, it's not so much that I'm, I'm actually a lot more easygoing than people might think, but what it is, is I, it's about being accountable. Okay. So, because if you have a super strict plan where you say, I'm only going to eat vegetables three times a day, that might be unrealistic for you. And maybe the first week you could last, if you're disciplined enough, you could just juice stuff and, and, you know, eat fresh foods and, and that might work out for you. But then after a week, it just, it's just too unrealistic and you can't do it. And then you just throw all that plan away and you don't diet for the next year or the next time you're motivated, which might be six months down the road. Why? Because you were so discouraged and your plan was way too difficult for you to do. So once again, it's not so much about that. It's more so about being accountable. Accountable is, let's say I go have ice cream right? and I have a nice ice cream sandwich or something like that and it's delicious. All right. I know it's bad for me, so then I'm going to be spending a lot of time working out and trying to eat better, and for the next couple of weeks, I might, you know, um, keep that in mind and, and, and try to do better than I normally do just because of that. It, it's, in a way, it's, it's like, well, you're feeling guilty. Well, yeah, absolutely. It's not just feeling guilty. It's being responsible, so it's like... I broke the law, I need to pay the price. As long as you do that, I think it's okay because at the end of the day, um, it's the people that they go, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I messed up. And there's no punishment. So then they go right back to doing it. And then it just gets to the point where I, I keep getting away with it. So, you know, then then you just become above the law. And, and that's the problem is we... We all are tyrants, the people that eat whatever they want and they're, you know, 
they're justifying it and stuff. They're, they're throwing their weight around. They go, mmm, chocolate or whatever. And, and they're just doing whatever the heck that pleases them. And they're not being responsible or accountable. So that's the problem. As long as you're accountable, you don't have to have a super strict rule that says you cannot ever, ever even look in the direction of, you know, sweet pastry <laughs> or something along those lines, you know. So that's my last recommendation is rather than have a super unrealistic rule like that, um, I, would, I would suggest just be accountable. And even though you are punishing yourself in a way by doing sit-ups and push-ups after you had a donut or whatever, it's, it's a good punishment, you know, it's a positive thing. And then the next time you won't be so crazy to, to or you won't be so quick to go after that donut because you know the consequences and that's a good thing. So uh, that's it for now. Thank you for listening and take care, folks.